Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. E-juice makers, you are under attack and you're doing stupid crap. Stay tuned. If you're the maker of e-juice, you are under attack, make no mistake, by the government, local and federal, and by the media, and just about every other direction that you look at. And let me tell you what, let me let me sort of explain what I'm talking about. I'm not a very elegant speaker, but hopefully I can get my point across. Number one, big tobacco, um, they want to sell the cigalites. And if you're a, a e-juice maker, the, you're sort of infringing on the business because they, they're losing money on regular cigarettes. They're only about 15 to 80 percent of our society is smoking now, so they need to get into the e-cigarettes, which is a big emerging market. Okay, so the the big cigarette companies are not selling e-juice, they're selling the cigalite. So anything else is a threat. So they're probably funneling money, and I'm sure somebody could follow the money. Uh, I'm not doing the research now. This is speculation, but I am sure they are funneling money to go ahead and create a, a whole bunch of... Uh, regulation or to entice regulation or to entice um, reporting that um, it, this e-juice is dangerous and you could see it I think it was on NBC's uh, Today Show there was a doctor that said that was holding a, a bottle of e-juice up and saying that you know th this can if you get one drop on you it can it can create a whole bunch of problem and if you drink a drop of it you will die you will die okay and what she was talking about she was talking about straight nicotine juice but she was holding up a bottle of regular e-juice so they're after you they are after you and then on top of it there's an article here about the CDC reporting that there's been an increased amount of calls of kids and animals drinking e-juice and getting sick and you e-juice makers are just shooting yourself in the foot because uh let's see I'm gonna grab some e-juice here look Ooh, smells good looks looks all colorful and everything let's see let me grab another one. Oh, look there's no childproof cap this thing looks all colorful it smells good it gotta be candy you know um i'm telling you this, this you're setting yourself up for the kill you need to get responsible there are companies out there that put childproof caps on their bottles you should have warnings nicotine level listing clearly stated and as a e-juice consumer okay if you have kids and pets around put this stuff away okay I, I mean if if we don't start doing something now e-juice is going to be a thing of the past the only thing you're going to be able to do is go to the store and get those stupid cigalites that you know, we all tried for a little while, and then we moved on to something that's a lot better. All right. So, uh, I'm telling you. There we go. That's the way you're supposed to do it. Childproof. What else? Let's see. There are responsible e-juice makers out there. But then there are others. <laughs> I, I, you set yourself up for the kill. Now, another thing, if you're an e-juice maker... Um, or all these e-juice makers and, and e-cigs and everything, you're very fragmented, okay? And the gun community, for those of you who could go back about 25 years of the gun community, a lot of the man gun manufacturers were very fragmented, and when all this legislation and bans and all this stuff was going on, there, there was no concerted effort to fight back against the local and federal government about you know, some of the laws and bans they were pushing that didn't make sense. So you had companies like Ruger, Bill Ruger goes to Congress, goes, oh yeah, maybe magazines don't need more than 10 rounds. Totally caves in. And, you know, I think Smith & Wesson totally caved in. It's just, you know, if you have a state that's sitting there trying to tax e-liquid by 90%, Okay, which means that this bottle all of a sudden is going to cost you a hundred dollars. 
Um, if you're an e-juice maker there in that state, you all should be walking lockstep to those legislators and fighting against it. Or you're not going to have a business, okay? And, and that goes for the federal stuff too. You need to fight. <laughs> if you don't, it, it's just going to be gone. All right, you know, I, I hate doing these rants. I could be doing something way more fun. I, um, will end this in a good note. I was at Walmart, and, um, look at this. Stinger. <laughs> they had, uh, 22 caliber long rifle stingers for $6.49 a piece. I was able to buy three because that's the limit. Really cool. Um, I could be having fun, like, uh, reviewing my, my, um, where is it? My sample box that I just got in the mail and I'm dying to open up a review, which I was going to do today, but instead I got to do, you know, this. I got to do this crap. What else did I get that I was going to do a review on? I wanted to do a review on my MVP. You know, there's a million reviews on this stuff, and I got one too, and I want to do a review because they got all these new ones with all the different colors. I don't get to do it because e-juice companies, <laughs> I need to talk to you. You need to get responsible. You need to work together. You're fragmented. You're doing stupid crap. <laughs> Look, I got so many cool things to review. And uh, my week of vape is almost over. I only got a couple days left to try to do all this stuff. So. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Obsession channel. I really appreciate every friend, viewer, subscriber, and you, and you use companies too, but Okay, take care.